Where are you from? Um, from the PowerPoint, I can see that. Okay, okay. Now it's fixed. Welcome back, Alex. How are you? Alex, are you wrong? Oh, I can see Alex's mic is not even appearing. So Alex, maybe you can do just tap in on the calling of the mobile data. Yeah, he's on. Hello, Alex. Hello. Hi, Alex. We, uh, we're so happy hello. to have you here. Yes, but I'm still in a noise area, so I'll just uh, mute my mic. Uh, let alone, I'll just uh, cooperate. No worries. You're welcome. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Mago. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing great. How is everything? All good. How is Arusha? Very rainy. Oh, that's great. It's a blessing. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Eben, I think uh, we should just carry on and uh, we'll be sharing the presentations as a recording session. Sure. Um, so, welcome everyone. So, today we're going to have a session about Bantu Trails. So Bantu Trails is a project from Tanzania and uh, the main aim of uh, Bantu Trails is unveiling the cultural tapestry of Tanzania. So it's an initiative from, from Tanzania and um, today you will have the presenters will be myself, Eben and Mago Iga, who, uh, who, whose username is Magotech. So welcome so much. Thank you, thank you, sir. Mago, next slide, please. So uh, your presenters for today will be Ebenezer Mlai with the username Kaliben from the Arusha Wikimedians, Wikimedians of Arusha, and also uh, uh, from Open Knowledge Tanzania. Uh, we also have Magoiga Mtatiro, who will, um, Magoiga, you can introduce, you can unmute yourself and introduce yourself. Uh, hi, hi everyone. So my name is Magoiga and uh, my username is Magotek from the Tanzania University of Students with Media, but also from the Open Space Tanzania, an NGO that is striving so much more to make sure that knowledge is accessible in Tanzania. So I'll be one of the speakers for today. Uh, I think we'll talk more later. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Mago. Um, so next slide, please. So what is Bantu Trails? Um, I, I think uh, some of you or all of you probably have heard of, about uh, the word Bantu. So, and as the, as the word says, Bantu Trails, so this is, an initiative that is um, aim, which aims at promoting cultural variety and strengthening every community in Tanzania. So uh, in Bantu Trails, what we do, uh, we are coming up with a cooperative effort 
effort to record and dis disseminate the traditional legacy of more than 120 Bantu tribes in Tanzania. So as we know that we have lots of uh, Bantu tribes in Tanzania, so this initiative is to, um, to record and disseminate the traditional legacy, the legacy that has been left, uh, left behind by, by these uh, Bantu people uh, in Tanzania. So uh, next slide, please, Marco. So what are the project uh, projects or objectives? First of all, we want to do document um, Bantu culture. So we want to write about uh, these tribes, everything about these tribes and have a comprehensive database, which will be, uh, will be of cultural uh, significance whereby uh, people will be able to, to learn and get empowered and uh, have knowledge, uh, get, get knowledge from, from um, the comprehensive database, whereby we think we'll have, later have a global impact to uh, impact all the other people so that they'll be able to know about, about our cultures as Bantu people in Tanzania. So those are the uh, projects, uh, projects uh, objectives. So uh, what... Uh, uh, what cultural significance does the project have? Uh, first of all, we want to preserve the heritage. As we know that uh, some, some of these um, tribes now are going into extinction. So we want to preserve uh, the heritage. We want people, uh, we want uh, our grand, uh, grandsons and granddaughters later on to come and know that these uh, tribes did exist. So we also want to uh, celebrate diversity. Like we know um, there's a diff cultural difference between the Ngonis. We have cultural difference between uh, Ngonis and Chagas, uh, Wakuria, and all the other tribes in Tanzania. So what we want to do is celebrate our diversity by coming together um, to uh, put this knowledge uh, in, in one uh, comprehensive database. Also, uh, we want to uh, promote identity recognition and also have our community pride, you know, our tribes, our, our um, culture, our local way of doing things, our, our community pride. So we want to, to uh, make sure that we preserve that. Also, we want to promote a global culture exchange so that people who are not from Tanzania, people who are not Bantu, uh, Bantu uh, they'll be able to, to know about the Bantu culture in Tanzania and uh, be able to, to, to learn from it and grab what is positive from the, from the culture and learn from what is not the, uh, from the negative so that they'll be able to uh, uh, have a better life as human beings. So we also have to want to produce an educational resource. So right after documenting um, all these Bantu cultures uh, in Tanzania, that, uh, that will be used for educational purposes. Also, uh, so we have Wikimedia Foundation who comes in in our project, where their role is uh, uh, we want to collaborate with them um, to promote long long term preservation and cross cultural understanding by facilitating a global transmission of cultural knowledge about about over one twenty. Uh, Bantu tribes. So as we know that Wikimedia provide platforms like Wikipedia, uh, Wikimedia Commons, where we could. Uh, place this documented uh, knowledge about our, 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 our cultures, our Bantu, uh, Bantu people, Bantu tribes. So we take this knowledge, we record it here in, in Tanzania, then we place it in the Wikimedia platform so that it will be able to, uh, to, be, to be preserved and also uh, to provide a cross-cultural understanding um, through the transmission of the knowledge. So I uh, will stop here and I would love to Welcome, Mago, to continue with the rest of the session. Mago Karibu. Oh, sorry, I was talking and my mic was mute. So, thank you, Eben, for the great uh, introduction. So, I'll pick up where Eben just left. Uh, so, the first thing that we are going to look at in uh, this presentation is the, how we're going to empower the community through the project. So as Eben said that we are trying to document the cultural, mostly in the Bantu, Bantu tribes in Tanzania, in which we have over 120 tribes, of which many of them we can see that they're vanishing as time goes and there's nowhere that we can reference these customs or the, the, the way the people they are living in their communities. So the future generation is going to learn something that the current generation, the past generation had. 
So how are we going to empower the community? First is recognition and celebration. So we need them to be recognized. We need these tribes, uh, their customs, their beliefs, their cultures. They should be recognized by other people, but not just to recognize, but also it should be celebrated just as the way other communities celebrate their customs and cultures. But also we have an inclusive participation whereby we do not just go to document we as the Wikimedia or the project people. We need to make sure that these communities or the local communities they are also included in the, in the documenting process. But also we have the skills enhancement whereby we'll not just go to document, but we'll be having some sessions that we'll be conducting, mostly on how they preserve their culture, for future generations. So we'll be having events that will be entitled to make sure that we give them the skills that is needed. But also we have an access of knowledge. So after the documenting process, we'll be uploading this, uh, how making these this, uh, materials to the public available, to the public domain. And the first platform that we'll be uploading will be the Wii Commons. But also we'll be documenting on the Wikipedia and other platforms that the Wikimedia have. But also we have the cultural legacy preservation. So we, as we all know, the current situation in Tanzania, uh, the current generation lacks what the first generation had or the past generation had. The same applies to the future generation. If this culture or these materials are not available, it will be very difficult for them to be able to know what happened in the past or what was there, how their grand, grandfathers or grandparents lived. So what we're trying to do is we have to keep the legacy of these cultures. So we have the impact and the accessibility. So what is the impact that this project is going to bring and what is the accessibility of it? Through encouraging diversity, integrating content into media projects, and providing accessible knowledge about 120 Bantu tribes, the project seeks to improve worldwide culture in the study. So this is our part. The impact that we are having is that often this documentation has been done. We are quite sure that many will be able to access it freely, and it will be easy compared to now that if you, you want to learn about maybe the Korean tribe, you have to travel to Mara and go there to try and interact with the people. So as you can see, it will be first costful, but also it will be time consuming. And, and at most times, it's not easy for you to be able to interact with these tribes because you find that you are from a different culture or from a different tribe, even the communication, it will be very hard for you. So, what are the challenges that we anticipate uh, on uh, this project? Always we know in every project there must be challenges. If there, is no, if there are no challenges, that means your project has a problem. So first is the cultural sensitivity. We quite know that always when it comes to culture, there's things that are very sensitive and no one uh, can try uh, like uh, bend them and make them the way they want them to be. So there's this challenge of cultural sensitivity whereby maybe the community or the local community or the tribes, they need their culture to be as the way it is. It doesn't matter how you people come in to document. If they need it to be like one, you shouldn't say that based on maybe on the laws in Tanzania, we have to change this and put it in another way. They need it to be as the way it is. So this is something that is very sensitive. And sometimes if we are not keen or you're not keen when documenting these tribes, it may, it may affect uh, the whole process. But also we have the second challenge, which is the language barrier. As we say, we have 120, more than 120 tribes in Tanzania. So each tribe has their own language. So here we can say it's a, it's a national language which everyone speaks. But out of Swahili, this is not a tribal language. Out of Swahili, we have tribes that are from different places in Tanzania, where we've seen them more, more than 120. 
So this creates a barrier for us to be able to communicate to each tribe that we go to visit or to, to document. And thus we have to make sure that we have uh, an interpreter for each tribe that we go. But also we have the community engagement. Not all the tribes will be happy to be to see us go to document their, their culture. So sometimes and at some places we are going to face this challenge. So we, we what we we have to do, it's like we have to see a proper way on how to engage these these tribes. We quite know and we quite understand that sometimes we we'll be will be unable to document a certain tribe because they're not able, they're not ready for us to enter into their territory. For example, we have the Maasai, though the current situation, we can say that they are have to see visitors go visit them. It's not because they are have to see being documented, it's because they see they are earning something like money or something. So we also have the limited resources. We all know that documenting or making the whole process is not, it's not easy. Uh, what we can say, we are trying our best to see how we can collect all these resources and make them available to the public. But also we have the issue of uh, technology accessibility. We are just sure not all the communities around Tanzania can be able to access this material online. So what the, the challenge that is facing and which comes to this is because first Tanzania, as we know, the infrastructure and technology is still developing slowly. So that is making it hard for these communities, which are the locals and out of the town, to be able to access this. But also due to the uh, knowledge that they have, it's been hard for them to be able to adapt the technology change. But also we have the integration with me, with media standards. So as we all know, we have this uh, the neutral point of view, whereby when you are documenting anything, there are certain ones you have to avoid. This is to make sure that these uh, documented or materials that, that are on the standards of the, of the with media. So sometimes you will go and find that uh, this culture or this tribe believe in this. While this thing that is being believed in the, this culture, when put in the put into the with media standards, you see that it does not fall under the standards. You find that they are out of the standards. So this is another challenge that we take, and we are trying to look to see on a better way on how we can consult it and make sure that it doesn't bring any challenge in the future. But also we have the ethical consideration. So the ethical consideration comes when we, after we collect all these, these materials, how do we handle them? Uh, what about the cultures that they, they don't want these materials to be shared publicly? Sometimes we might visit a culture or a tribe and find that they, we document something maybe on their beliefs. And for them, they believe that this should not be shown to the people. For example, we have the rich class, whereby we have these witch doctors performing their rituals. So what happens if these, these materials are not shared with the people? That means that in the future, they won't be able to know all of the knowledge that these people on the back days they had. So what we're trying to do is try to see how we can follow these ethical standards and make sure that we do not at this time in the tribe that we visit. So what are the future uh, future vision of this project? So one is to expand the cultural coverage. So as we all know, Tanzania is a very big country. And as said before, we have over 120 tribes. So as a start, we'll be starting with one, one tribe, of which we say is the Wagogo located in Dodoma. But in the future, we envision on expanding more and making sure that we, we cover many more tribes in Tanzania. And if possible, we can have this coverage even in the future days, even out of Tanzania. All this we are doing to make sure that we cover as many uh, 
culture as well as we can. But also we have the collaborative educational initiatives. So we are seeking on the future to see how we can collaborate with the educational institutions or initiatives in Tanzania, some of them being universities, where we know they have researchers and they have materials from the practice that some places they might not be available. But also we have the regularities where we know more, more knowledge is normally find, found on the these libraries. So we are trying our best to see how we can incorporate them and see how we can collaborate with them in the future days. But also we have the technological advancement. So as we all know, when you are out of town in Tanzania, you have and you'll face an issue of uh, the internet accessibility. So we are trying to see how is it possible that these people out of internet coverage they can be able to access these resources? A good example we've seen how the QX have, has implemented uh, the QX for schools. That these people you can be able to download just a software, install it on the device, and you'll be able to access these materials. So we're trying also to see: is it possible for us to use these these softwares as a as a uh, a plan B for these communities to be able to access the the content that we create. But also we have the community centric sustainability. So our vision is to see that these communities continue to be sustainable. So as days goes by, currently we see that they're vanishing. But in the future, what we envision is seeing these communities continue to be sustainable. We have the international collaborations, whereby we're seeking international collaborators to be able to work together to see on how what we can do in the future, on how we can collaborate. But what are the out of the benefits and the challenges that that we can face together, and at the end we come up with something that is great for the community. But also we envision on advocacy for cultural preservation. So we are also always trying to see on how we can advocate on something that is for the greater good for the community. So we are advocating for the cultural preservation in Tanzania to see on how the culture can be preserved. But also we have the innovation in knowledge sharing. So we want to learn and see on how we can innovate ways, all the best ways, for, all the best practices for us to be able to share knowledge. Currently, we say that we meet in the events or we go online and check uh, this information that I need. But we need to see on how we can be innovative, come with new ways that it's easier for people to share the knowledge. So, after seeing all this on how this uh, project works, the question or the big question comes that how can you support the project? As we all see that, not only these people who started the project will be able to run it. No, we need all hands on deck to be able to see on how to... Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, you heard. Okay, I saw somebody saying that yeah, I wasn't being heard. Okay, as I was saying that all all of us, we have a greater role on playing on this project. Not only the people who came up with the idea should be the ones who are tackling the problem or the ones who are documenting this project. We have to see on how we can have people to help us be able to accomplish the goal. So the first way, or the first way on how you can contribute how you can be part of this project. One is to contribute your knowledge. We all know that not everyone has the same knowledge that the other person has. So we all understand that what I have, you don't have. What you have, I don't have. But when we come together, we share what we have in exchange. So both of us have something that, that is in common. So as for you, as a participant, you can be able to contribute your knowledge, what you have, what you understand about this tribe, what you understand about this culture. And this can be done through maybe participating in campaigns that we'll be holding, participating in editor forms, participating in uploading documents in the uh, different platforms that are public. 
accessible. So in any way that you see, it's very good for you to be able to share this knowledge, then you are free to, to go. Then you can support the project, how you can participate in this project by supporting financial. As we all understand, this project needs funds to be able to, to be a success because we'll be visiting places that no one has ever been there. And sometimes we'll be in, incurring costs that no one had planned for them. So another way of being part of the project is supporting financially of well, so all the funds that we collect will be all dedicated into the project. But also another way that you can participate in the project is promoting cultural awareness. So you can like an ambassador for the Bantu Trace project in Tanzania, like you have to create awareness to people, give them like teach them what they don't know about culture. Teach them how to preserve it. So by doing this, you are creating awareness to people that you think they need to know about this thing. But also collaborate for global impact. So we as we all know, collaboration is something that in any project, in anywhere that you go, in any work that you do, in any field, collaboration is the key aspect. So if we collaborate for if we collaborate together in this project, we say that we are going to bring an impact that is not only in Tanzania, it will be an example for all other countries to be able to adapt and see on how they can preserve their cultures. But also engaging Mazunga editing. So as we all know, we have different languages in the wiki platforms. So you can decide on what language you will be editing these this, uh, documents that we upload, but also other materials that are already that are already in the, these platforms, you can be able to edit them in your preferred language. It's, it's not a must be in Swahili. We've seen in Nigeria where they have more than two or three languages that are available in the wiki platforms. So even in Tanzania, we have this chance of being able to have even more languages in the wiki platforms. But also another way is stay informed and connected. So if you want to be part of this, this project, you can also try being informed, like you have to be updated on what is happening. And this is done through meetings that we do hold, they have the conversation hours, but also through the, our social medias, through our websites, so all these platforms, we are doing it to make sure that all the community, all the, the, the people who are, uh, they need to be part of the, this project are able to access information that is needed for them to be able to be in touch with us. So after a long ride from the beginning, that is the introduction that was done from Mr. Eben, we would like to welcome anyone who has any question, and this is the AMA session, uh, which is being held by Mr. Eben. Mr. Eben, whenever you are, Karibu. Sante sana, Mago. Um, anyone with a question, advice, or anything that you want to say, any suggestion, you're welcome. The floor is yours. You can open up your mic and... Um, Ask anything or suggest anything that you want. Karibu, you're welcome. Yeah, I think I have no question, but I will wish to, am I ahead? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yeah, I would like to congratulate you all for this wonderful project of letting people know about the culture of this country. It's a wonderful thing. Congratulations, Margo and Ben. Thank you, thank you thank so you. much, Freddy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, also, I don't have, uh, I think, a question. Um, just to also myself to congratulate you uh, for this initiative uh, and in case you need collaboration from my, I'm from Bukoba, I am from the Aya, 
uh, tribe. Uh, so in case you need uh, anything from that area or people from that area, I think I can just corroborate in future or any time that you want my hand. Thank you so much and congratulations for, for this initiative. Thank you so much, Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll definitely need your hand at one point. So please, uh, we'll be reaching out. We'll be reaching out when we want to uh, go out for the higher people. So thank you very much. We'll definitely keep your, we have, we have your contacts. We'll reach out to you when, when we, we really need to go to the higher people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Alex, we will need also bananas. <laughs> there are a lot, a lot, a lot of them. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, probably uh, from 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 the conversation, from the presentation, um, probably you have seen a, a pro if you have seen anything that you can advise on, like to make the project um, more successful or reach out to more people. Please, you're also welcome to to give out your suggestions if you have any. Oh, so it looks like we are all good. Um, so before we end our session, please reach, us, reach out to us uh, via hello at openspacetanzania.org or you can use the WhatsApp phone number there or uh, you can check on the website right there but also you can reach to us via our social media pages. I'll be sharing them in, in, in the chat. Feel free to follow us in our social media pages and um, let's talk more about the project there. They keep, let's, let's keep the uh, conversation going. So before we end the session, I would love to welcome Mago to give the closing remarks. Mago, you're welcome. Thank you, so thank you everyone for your time. Uh, we had a great session. We didn't want to take a lot of your time. We know it's getting late and it's a weekend. Uh, many have uh, their timetables fixed, but we'll be sharing this recording later. I think after this session, we'll see on how we can get it and maybe upload it into the, to the YouTube channel or share it in any platform that we see that is uh, reachable and accessible by everyone, but also to be available on the Wiki Commons platform so you can see it there. We'll be sharing the links later. Uh, thank you everyone, feel free to reach out regarding the the project and we'll be happy to, be, to help you out. Feel free if you want to help in any way. So as we said, we have over 120 tribes and I'm quite sure all the people who are attending right now, uh, we are all from different tribes. So when we reach out, we will be happy to see you help us. Thank you, and have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Margot, you can stop the recording now.